It's Mike Michalco here, and I want to introduce you guys to something that I like to call the Rastafarian Michalco. And it's basically teaching you some basic reggae beats. And uh, reggae music comes from Jamaica, and uh, great artists such as Bob Marley, which many of you have probably heard of, uh, Inner Circle, King Tubby, the list goes on. Um, one of the great uh, reggae drummers that I can think of is Carlton Barrett who is the uh, late drummer from Bob Marley. Be sure to check out some of his stuff. Now, in reggae music, there's two different feels. There's a swing feel, like a shuffle type of feel, and there's a straight feel, more straight eights or straight sixteenths. I'm gonna demonstrate both for you throughout this lesson, but the first one that we're gonna talk about is a shuffle with something called the one drop, and the one drop is very popular in reggae music. And what it simply means is you're dropping one big giant beat down on count number three which makes it really cool and very reggae, of course. So the one drop is a very strong accented pulse that you're gonna hear in this music. So with exercise number one, I'm gonna play a shuffle pattern, okay? And we're gonna do the one drop on count three. Also very, very common to use a cross stick sound when playing a reggae, uh, reggae beat to try to get this uh, click kind of a sound. But uh, here's beat number one. So you may have noticed that when I played that, I actually had some different dynamics happening in the hi-hat. I didn't change the pattern per se, it still was a shuffle, but I'm just trying to create more of a rhythmic feel um, on the hi-hat, so it's not so staccato and so stiff, you know, chat, 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 chat. I don't want that, I want it to feel a little more islandy, more relaxed, you know, and you gotta think about it. I've never been to Jamaica yet, hopefully someday, but I could just imagine a very relaxed, cool vibe behind it. And uh, I get that from listening to a lot of Stuart Copeland, and Stuart has a lot of reggae influence, so be sure to check out his drumming because there's lots of cool hi-hat stuff that he does. So if you hear me doing that through some of these exercises, uh, don't be alarmed, it's just a natural feel, and that, that comes from listening to a lot of reggae. And try to make it very danceable, that's the big thing. So with number two, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one more cross stick note to the very last triplet of beat four. Just kinda gives it a cool little turnaround before we get back into the beat. So this is a really cool one. It's the same as the first one we did, but I'm just gonna add one more cross stick note. So here's number two, guys. In the next exercise, number three, this is one of my personal favorites because we're really taking away uh, quite a bit from this beat. There's nothing at all being played on beat one, okay? The beat actually starts on count two and uh, it's very spacey and you're gonna notice that it's gonna be kind of weird to get it first, especially if you practice this without a metronome. I would say put the metronome on and make sure you can hear that click on count one to make sure you're doing this properly. But I really like this one because it's, it's a very cool rhythmic feel in reggae. So when I do get a chance to play uh, reggae with some artists once in a while, I love pulling this beat off. And uh, it's, hard, it's hard to play for a long period of time properly because there's so much space in it. So you gotta make sure you're really concentrating on how you do this one. And um, still based on the shuffle, still has the one drop down on beat three, and, um, but nothing at all being played on count one. So check out number three.
All right, so in this next exercise, guys, we're gonna move it over to the 16th feel in reggae, okay? Like I said, we can incorporate eighths or 16, so more of a straighter feel, okay? More of a straighter feel. And uh, based on 16 and the hi-hat pattern is gonna go uh, eighth note, two 16 one and, okay, it's be like one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. And so that's gonna be the vibe on the hi-hat, okay? Now another very cool feel in reggae music is having the bass drums on beats two and four. Um, it takes away from the rock element of having snare on two and four, but now by putting the bass drum on two and four, okay? And we're gonna keep um, the cross stick on two and four as well, just to kind of keep things in line right now, okay? And uh, this one you're probably gonna recognize from some Bob Marley tunes, there's quite a few tunes uh, that have this feel in it. So. Um, Here's number four. In the last example that I wanna show you guys, it's the same kind of vibe as number four, still based on 16ths, but very broken up. I love this feel. This is probably one of my favorite uh, straight feels in reggae. And all the hi-hat's gonna be doing is playing the andas. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Sometimes you might hear the guitar like, cha 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 this just really locks in nice if you can get that really tight with the guitar player. Um, we're gonna put the uh, bass drum back on two and four, followed by the cross stick on two and four as well. So this one is uh, super cool. Check out number five, here we go. So there you go, guys. There are five usable reggae beats. You can start practicing. Hopefully someday you get to put these into a reggae situation live on stage. And uh, before I let you go, I wanna let you know we have some very big news coming about the drumming system. I can't say much just at this point in time yet, but the news is so big that we're actually shutting down the website for a little while. So what I would suggest you do is uh, go to the site, www.drummingsystem.com, and sign up for priority notification. See you soon.